Imagine spawning in a world where water is deadly and the ground is melting below you. If you get stranded, it's only a matter of time before you die. So with these conditions, I'm going to try and survive this landscape and beat the game. Let's see what happens. Also, this was originally going to be a single video, but after reviewing the recordings, it turns out there was 10 plus hours of footage. So I've decided to split it into three parts. With that said, I hope you all enjoy. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a challenge where we have to try and beat Minecraft but the whole world is melting around us. So I found a data pack that can actually kill you if you step in water and it kills everything around you as well. Also we just found a village which is really good. Oh it's got a thing as well. What is this? Uh, blacksmith. Oh my god this is perfect. This is actually perfect but I need to get out of here fast before things melt too much. I'm also just gonna set my spawn point here. Um, I'm just gonna try and get this iron golem quickly and then get out of here because once the world melts past a certain point it becomes hard to parkour out of it. I'll show you what I mean pretty soon. I'm just kind of multitasking right now talking and trying to get the iron golem. Hello it's time to die. Yes come here. Oh no, everything is melting too much. I need to get out right now. Come on. One more. Okay, let's go. We gotta park. We're out of here. We have to get out of here. Things have melted too much. Oh my god. Yep, and that's what happens when you die. All the villagers now, they're dead as well because I died. Everything that's living dies when I fall in the water. But actually right now, I need to park. We're out of here. And this is getting a bit bad right now. Because here's the thing, you can actually get stranded. So like once enough ice melts, there's no way for you to get out unless you bridge. And that takes a long time. Surely we can make this? Yes. No. I'm going to try the other side of the village. So yeah, I'm going to basically abandon this village for now and go to a different one. I need to find... Oh my god. I need to find obsidian to make a portal. Actually, the nether is probably going to be the safest place in this whole world. Okay, we can do this. Come on. What is that? Is that another village? Okay, there are a lot of villages here. But yeah, we have to make our way back to where there's a lot of ice. Alright, there we go. We're a bit safer now. So my strategy is walking between two blocks here. So it's like, even if one melts, I'll still be able to walk across the other. So yeah, just walk between two blocks. Alright, let's see what this village has. That is a massive house. I don't know if it has a blacksmith, but to my knowledge, blacksmiths are probably going to be the only way. Okay, it does have a blacksmith. The only way to get lava and obsidian. Okay, perfect. Five obsidian. So yeah, I can't stay in a place too long. And also I need to set my spawn to... Yeah, okay. I need to set my spawn to wherever I go. Because if I keep spawning on the ice, eventually I won't be able to parkour out of there. Whoops, I just broke my bed. My bad. Okay, let's get this golem. Actually, is it worth getting the golem or should I get out of here? I think I should get out of here. There is not enough time. Things are melting as we speak. So yeah, the plan is go from village to village and plunder it. I'm like Robin Hood, but evil Robin Hood. All right, yeah. Also going to do the strategy. Yeah, between them, I can just run. Also, if you're wondering if I can use a boat, I've tried and it does not work. It instantly kills you. And some other times I tried as well, I got stranded to the point where whenever I spawned, I would instantly die because there was no more ice to jump on eventually after a while. That's it. There's nowhere I can go now. No way for me to go. GG. But this time, I think it's actually much better. No! I swear, I am not doing this on purpose. See, that's the thing, you can't get a single jump wrong. I think I was going this way, but already now, some a lot of it has melted off. Okay, we can still make it, we can still make it. I'm gonna head over to this way. Actually, there's not that much melted ice here, so I don't think I've been here before. Oh, but I lost the obsidian. That's the challenge. But yeah, the next village I find, I definitely need to set my spawn there. Otherwise, things are gonna end very badly. Alright, here we are, another village. Awesome. We're getting pretty lucky with these villages. Let me just sleep somewhere. Does this village village and not have a bed. Come on. How do you survive? I think there's something else over there. Another village maybe. I'll go and check that out. But first let's see if there's anything interesting here. Doesn't seem to have a blacksmith. But there are things I can take from the chest. Oh nice. This was a good chest. But yeah, it's time I get out of here. Where was that other interesting place? Oh, over there. Second village. Hopefully this one has a blacksmith. Alright. There we go. We're here. Okay, this one is much less melting than the other village. Let's see, is there anything here? Is there a blacksmith? I can't see any. I think I gotta leave this village right now. 
I put a bed just in case, but I need. Okay, I'll kill this golem. Come on, come on. Whoa. Getting a bit close there, pal. Pal, you're getting a bit close. No, don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh my god, that was such a fail. Do I still have time? Where is it? Oh no. No. No, this. That's bad. That's really bad. The reason the golem fell is because there's literally void under this. There's nothing else. But yeah, I need to get out of here now. I messed that up. Alright, here we go. We're up to an area that's not that melted. But yeah, and this looks pretty peaceful actually. Despite the fact that it's melting under my feet. It actually looks nice. Like look at the sky. Look at... Okay, I can't look at the sky. I'm gonna fall into water. But yeah, it, it looks really beautiful. Alright, hopefully we find a village soon. Oh man, this is taking a while. I think I got really lucky at the start with all those villages. And I could have gone to the nether, but that's okay. Because hopefully the next one will have what we need. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I feel like it's about to melt under my feet for some reason right now. Just get onto flat land. There we go. Nope, nothing here. Actually, I can set my bed on this. Oh, I can actually sleep through the night. Cool, but I gotta get going. Alright. Please, blacksmith. Please, blacksmith. Blacksmith? Blacksmith. No blacksmith. But you know what I can do though? I can kill the iron golem. I've got some time right now. Before things melt too much. Wait, where'd it go? Surely it didn't fall into the water just yet. Actually, is that it? I don't know. He must have fallen into the water. Yeah, there's literally no more time. Look at the water now. I don't know how long it takes for something to become unparkourable, but I would say it's about a couple of minutes after I arrive at a place that it almost completely runs out of ice. Yeah, we're just gonna have to... Oh my god, we're just gonna have to keep moving right now. Hopefully find a village with an iron golem and a blacksmith. There we go. We've got a village. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Okay, we've got a chest here. This is no blacksmith, but hey, it's something. Oh, this water doesn't kill me. Nice to know. And there's the golem. Okay, we've got to be quick about this now. No, get away from the... Oh my god. Bro, how is this happening twice? Alright, now, let's go. Four, that's good. Four iron ingots. Let's get out of here. There was no blacksmith, but it's fine. Uh-oh. I'm out of food! No, no, I'm out of food. This is terrible. Terrible news. I should get out of here while there's still a bit of ice. Everyone watching this is like, how is he so bad? But trust me, this is actually pretty hard. <laughs> Unless you're a parkour master. But yeah, when I died, I brought down that entire village with me because dying kills everything around you. Everything in render distance. Oh, what is this? Another village. See, I feel like the time it takes me to kill an iron golem is way too long because by then, thing is almost completely melted. <gasps> Blacksmith, let's go. No obsidian, which is a bit annoying, but we'll make do with it. Can I kill the golem or do I get out of here? I am going to get out. I'll kill the next golem. Yeah, this one is not enough time. So fun fact, this video idea is actually from a long time ago. So I used to do TikToks about Minecraft and in one of my TikToks, I made a video talking about a challenge which I would do one day in the future, which is the melting world challenge. And yeah. Oh, let's see. Let's go. We've got another village. But yeah, if you want to try this challenge, you can... I'll actually... No, I'll show it how to do you how to do it later because it's kind of hard to explain it while I'm trying not to fall in the water. All right, let's sleep here. Just get the respawn point. Do we have a blacksmith? No, but at this point, I'm just going to try and kill the iron golem. Where did it go? Come on. There's not much time left. But yeah, on the super flat world, you have to add ice on the top layer. Oh, let's go. We got it. Okay, we're out of here. So you have to add ice on the top layer. Light, so a light block in the middle layer. And then air at the bottom. And that's how I got this. Okay, we're making good progress now. We actually have iron. So the next time we find a blacksmith, I don't know if how much obsidian you can have. But if it has eight obsidian inside the chest, then I can make a bucket with this. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Oh my god. Every time something like good like this happens, I always die. So was it this way? I don't know. I think it was this way that I was going. There's still enough ice to parkour. As long as it doesn't melt beneath my feet... And also the problem is if you get stranded on this ice, you can't actually escape easily because if you try and bridge out to more areas with ice, oh no. Okay, that ice over there is melted, so I'll try and go this way. Even here it's melting. Yeah, because if you get stranded, by the time you bridge out to an area with more ice, it's already melted. So it's really hard to escape once you're stuck somewhere with no ice. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh no, no, no. This, okay, this could be it though. Okay, over here there's plenty more. 
to work with, come on. Alright, we're getting back to places with ice. Okay, this isn't perfect, but this is more ice here to use. Let's just get out of here. <gasps> no, no! Okay, I'm actually really looking forward to getting to the nether because it'll be much more peaceful than this. And here is another night. I still have the exact same items I had on the first night, which is nothing. Oh, it's a village? Unless I've been there, the ice looks destroyed there. Oh, yeah, the ice is... The ice is destroyed there, which means I've been there. Don't want to go there. Trying to get to places with fresh ice like this. This is completely fresh, which means you've got the lowest chance of dying. Oh, wow, I've traveled a long way. No! <gasps> okay, this is actually terrible right now. Which way haven't I gone yet? It's all melting everywhere. What about that way? So close, we've almost gone back to the good ice. No! Okay, what about down that way? I have not tried that, I think. Yeah, as you can see, the ice is getting sparse right now. There was nowhere to go. I think I could make this as long as nothing melts under me. Okay, so close. No, there's still some this way. This village is going to turn into sky block, but on the water, I'm going to get stranded at this rate. No, no, no. No, it's like there's no, I don't know. There's no possible way right now. Other than I'm going to try at the far, far end of the village down there. See if I can go here. Okay, whoa, there's plenty of ice here. Yes, please let me through. Yes. Did we make it? Yes, we have to get out of here now. I need to set my bed at a new village. That was really lucky. There was a place there I could parkour. Let's try down this way. Let's go, let's go. I see light. Okay, you have to get out. All right, I've set my spawn point. Let's go quickly. Yes, blacksmith. The chances. Let's go. The chances of this. Come on, please. No. Why? No obsidian. I'm not going to risk it by staying at this village. Okay, there we go. Now we're on safer waters. Oh, another village. There we go. It feels so good when you get this luck. Oh, no. I'm out of sprint. Please, let me get to the village. Move. Wait, where is the thing? I need food. Okay. Respawn point set. Actually, something smart I can do is literally just kill myself in the water and I respawn here all my items get despawned as well but the thing that happens is oh there's a blacksmith so the thing that happens is remember how I mentioned okay there's no obsidian but remember how I mentioned all the mobs die oh it doesn't I forgot it doesn't actually give me the iron from the iron golem because it also kills the items as well not just the mob no monster hunter all right I'm just gonna bring some food with me and get out no. Okay, let's see how we can get out of this situation. Because I don't really like the look of things right now. I think this way is a pretty good way to go. Oh no. Yeah, things are not looking good right now. I think this way is the best way to exit the village right now. As long as I'm taking my time, that's fine. And not rushing. Because if I rush, things are not going to go well. Okay, we're getting into an area with more ice. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, this is fine now. As long as I just keep heading off. Now, the next village I find, I'm gonna need to set a bed there. Yeah, the real difficult part of this challenge is when you have to get to the nether because you need at least two villages, usually. Two blacksmiths. So, firstly, you need to go to a village, escape it successfully, and then go to another village with a blacksmith. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. There's another village. So, yeah, it's not that easy because you have to be very fast about it. Oh, my God. I always get so nervous it's gonna melt beneath me. Okay, there we go. Set up bed that's fine let's see what do we have here any blacksmiths no there's no blacksmiths yeah i'm just gonna leave this village because if i die i can just respawn here i'm not gonna stop until i find a village with a blacksmith whoops i should have brought food from that village this is very bad news now everything's melting before i can even get to it you know what i'll just die all right i'm back in this village okay let's get out of here no I have to get as far away from that village as possible. No, no, no. I think it's happened. I'm almost stranded at this village now. It's about to happen. Please let me escape. Oh my god. I need to get out of here. Come on. We're getting close. Okay, let's escape. Alright, there we go. We're now in an area where it's slightly safer. There we go, a fresh village. Hopefully we don't mess this up. Oh, I think it's a abandoned village. Interesting. I haven't come across these in ages. Do they have any beds there? I don't know. There's no time. 
So you have beds. Yes. Okay. Send my spawn point. Oh my god. This is a chest here. No. Actually, that's good. I just killed all the zombies because I fell in the water. No, I don't think there's anything useful here. I swear, it's always a race to escape every village. Finally, I've escaped, and there's another village right here. Okay, this is a normal village. So I'll just set my spawn point. And there is no blacksmith. Damn, I'm gonna have to keep going. All right, here we go. One more village. Oh, a saddle? If I can find a horse, this could make things way better. And no, there's no blacksmith here. Gotta grab some food though. Don't wanna be stranded out there. Here we go, another village. We've already traveled thousands of blocks out here. It's pretty crazy. All right, let's see what we have here. Just normal houses, normal houses, no blacksmith. Another abandoned village. I wonder if, oh my God, fuck. Oh, there's this abandoned village again. Feels like I smelt much faster as I'm approaching a village for some reason. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, blacksmith, blacksmith, blacksmith. I'm just gonna sleep. Let's go. Let's go, please have obsidian. No. I mean, it's got diamonds, but it's not obsidian. That's okay. I think the food was the most useful thing from that chest. Oh, another village. Let's go. Sometimes it takes like 10 minutes to find a single village. Other times you can find two in a row within like a minute of each other. A lot of this challenge just comes down to luck as well. Actually, it is basically just luck and you're trying to beat it because ice can always melt right under your feet. You know, it's always like completely random what happens. And it doesn't seem to be a blacksmith, but can I use this? Surely I can use this. Come on. Come on. Surely. Come on. Yes. Are you tamed? No. Come on. If I can ride this horse, I will we'll be invincible. Come on. It's melting. Make your mind up, horse. Damn, this is taking a while. I've never seen a horse take so long to decide. Wait, is this horse glitched? Bro. Come on. I love how usually horses like decide instantly, but right now when it's actually in a bad situation. It's like, let me just see... Bro, bro, there's no way. It's been like two minutes. Come on, horse. Come on. Bro, come on. I think something is wrong with this horse. Oh, finally. Okay, we are out of here. All right. Okay, we gotta head this way. It's a pretty good horse as well, yeah. All right, here we go. Onwards. This is so good. All right, now let's head somewhere we have not explored yet. Somewhere down this way. See, this just reduced the chances of me dying to the ice by so much. Because I think it needs a 2x2 two two hole for a horse to fall in. So it's not going to fall into any small hole. Like this hole right next to me, that could probably kill the horse. But now we're fine. Because those holes are pretty rare to come across. Well, they're not actually that rare. It's just, you got to avoid them. But this just made things so much easier. Yes. There we go. We got another village on the horizon. My trusty steed. The most indecisive horse in Minecraft. All right, what do we have here? Anything? Nope, no blacksmith. Let me just set a spawn point here. But yeah, onwards. Another village. All right, there's more horses here as well. But I think I like this one the most. I don't know, it's actually pretty fast. But yeah, is there a blacksmith? No. Blacksmiths are very rare, that's the thing. At the start, I got pretty lucky when I had those blacksmiths. Also, one thing I'm glad about is that no mobs can actually spawn on the ice. So that just makes things so much easier. Just me and my horse on an adventure. I'll try and take this horse to the end as well. I don't know how that how possible that's going to be, but that would be really cool. All right, let's get out of here. Also, because I can't think of any good name for this horse, I'm literally just going to name it Horse. Me and Horse. Let's go. Another village. Possible blacksmith. Let's see. Nope, no blacksmith unfortunately. Let's keep moving. So this is the plan, right? When I find a village with a blacksmith, I'm gonna go to it. I'm literally just gonna loot it and get out of there as fast as possible with horse. And then we'll go to the next village that we have a blacksmith. And then we're just probably gonna stay there. If both blacksmiths have obsidian, that's perfect. That should be enough for a portal. So I'll camp out at that second village. That'll be my base. And I'll build another portal. And I'll go start getting blaze rods and ender pearls. Okay, so we've got another village here. Wow, this has three cleric towers so that one here and there's two over here that's pretty rare i think yeah no blacksmith another village let's see what we have here yep no blacksmith let's go another village this process is so much better now blacksmith <gasps> no <gasps> no oh my god i almost fell into a two by two hole bro let's see what we get here yes 
three obsidian. Well, we need... Oh, God. We need some more obsidian. Nah, this is not enough. But I can do something right now. I have to be really quick about it, though. Since I've got iron, let's make a quick crafting table. Let's make a quick bucket. And... Okay, we got some lava. That's good. This lava is going to be an extra piece of obsidian. But yeah, we can't use it right now. But yeah, let's just get out of here right now. I don't like how much this is melted. Yeah, so we've got three pieces of obsidian and a lava bucket. So we've basically got four pieces of obsidian. And we need ten. I think if we get one more blacksmith with really good loot, we should be able to do it. And I see a village on the horizon as I'm saying that. So hopefully something good comes of this. No, I don't think it has one. But there is another village right next to it. Nope, no blacks. Oh, yes, blacksmith. Let's go... No. But hey, I got some horse armor for horse. Let's go. Bro's looking fancy. Oh well, who cares if there was an obsidian. Gives more time for adventures with horse and me. Another beautiful sunrise. Where will our adventures take us next? Who knows? You know, I wonder if it's possible. If there's like even a teeny tiny chance that a whole chunk of ice could melt at the same time. Is that even possible? Because it should be random the way ice melts. So what if like a 10 times 10 hole of ice melted at the exact same time? So under me just became ocean instantly. Like what would be the chances of that? That would be insane. Because I've seen ice side by side melt really quickly together so it might be possible for all of it to melt at once that would be insane though i can't believe we've already traveled over 4500 blocks probably even more because we might have circled back sometimes that's actually crazy you know it would be even more crazy if i accidentally came across a stronghold while looking for villages if you're wondering how strongholds can actually spawn here they do but they spawn in pretty strange positions so like they'll spawn floating in the air no villages still that's surprising oh there we go there's a village yeah it definitely feels like I smells faster when I'm near a village. I don't think it's a theory. I think it's a fact. Nah, it's just a theory. No blacksmiths here. That's fine. So when I do find the second village with obsidian and I set base there, I'm going to only camp out on one half of the village because the other half, I'm going to leave ice there without it melting. So when I do want to leave the village, I can leave it from the side that the ice hasn't melted yet, if that makes any sense, because ice only melts when it's near me. There we go. Another village. Okay, let's check this out. Nah, no blacksmith here. There we go. No blacksmith. There we go. That took so long to find this village. Blacksmith? Oh, there's blacksmith. Oh my god. Bro. No. But, 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 actually, I have to be very fast about this again. Come on. One, two, three. So we've got three buckets. So we've got one, two. So we've got... Okay. I need to get out of here. So I've got three lava buckets and three obsidian. So that means I have six out of ten. We're actually getting pretty close now. Another night out on the ice with horse. All right, here we go. One more village. Yeah, no blacksmith. There we go. There's a village. Let's see what we have here. It's a big village, but no. I don't see a blacksmith. Unless this is a blacksmith? No, it's definitely not a blacksmith. It's a fake blacksmith. Let's go. I've got a good feeling about this one. No blacksmith. Another one. Still no blacksmith. One more village. Let's see. Oh, blacksmith. I didn't even notice that. Yes, let's see what we get. No. It feels like gambling every time I walk into a blacksmith. It's like you could get something good or something bad. Yeah, that sucks. But at least... Oh, God. No, no, no. I almost fell. Yeah, the good news is I have much more resources now. I have four lava buckets and three obsidian. So seven in total now. Seven? That's so good. Just three more. Also, I've gotten really stacked from all these chests. Like, I've got almost full iron armor. I've got diamond armor for horse. It's pretty overpowered. Also, for some reason, it feels like it's much more melting than sh what should be going on around here. Have I already been in this area? It could be possible. If I backtrack to an area that I've already been, that could be very dangerous. Because that means that the melting is going to be much more than usual. I don't know. This seems like a lot of melting. Here's a village. But is this a new village? I don't know. Let's find out. I've been to so many villages so far. It's not impossible to run across the same one. This is a tiny village, but no, I think it's new. So if ice can melt all at the same time, I wonder if it can also melt into some patterns, like that are really rare. What if it's somehow melted at the exact right place to form like a giant smiley face or something? That would be terrifying. Imagine just running on the ice and then you see a giant smiley face of melted ice. Oh, what is this? Why is this area suddenly more melted? Ah, oh, that's not good. It means I've been here. That is not good whatsoever. I need to get out of here. 
Where? Oh, I'm near. Okay, I'm closer to spawn. This is why. You can see the divide here, right? On this side, there's less melted ice. On that side, it's more melted. So I've been that way before. So I definitely don't want to go there. So I'm going to go sideways here. What is this? Oh my god. Bro. Holy crap, I called it. I knew it. I knew I was going to find the stronghold like this with how long I was wandering around. Holy crap. Oh my god. What are the chances of finding this? Up oh, there goes a the slime. Bro, what are the chances? I saw shadows on the ground. And whoa, what is this, bro? This, this villager has a mansion. What is this location? What the hell? Well, you know, since I found the stronghold, that just made things so much easier right now. Yes. Hell yes. I actually don't need to leave this location now. Because, yeah, it doesn't matter whether there's a blacksmith or not because there's lava inside the portal room that I can use. How crazy is that? I literally found a stronghold from nowhere. And this village as well. Something is definitely different about this village. Like... Where was that house? That house was ridiculous. What is this house? The library. Also, I need to get horse out of the water. I'll put you in a pen. I can't believe I called it though. I was gonna find one of these. I saw a shadow in the water and I was like, there is no way this is what I think it is. Like, the luck is literally insane. I don't know what the chances of that happening are. I mean, there's 120 strongholds in the world, but surely randomly coming across one is too rare. But yeah. That is so cool. I have to leave my horse somewhere, so I'll just leave it here, actually. Yeah. I'll see you later, horse. Man, that is so cool. Alright, so I have to do a couple of things first before I go to the stronghold. I'm also full iron, that's insane. Okay, so first of all, I need to kill the iron golem, because I need some more iron. Where is the golem? Oh god. Don't drown. Alright, so I'll take care of this first. Alright, six iron ingots. That's good. So now with six ingots, what I can do is I can make two lava buckets. Yep, that seems good to me. Bro, I still can't get over the fact that I found the stronghold though. This makes everything so much easier. I'll get some wood though. Grab some of the beds. I'm also going to need a way to get up there now. The ice has basically completely melted and I can't use the water to get up there. So we're just going to have to do it. Wait, what? Why can't I place? I can't place block there well, that's weird whatever yeah we're just gonna have to do it this way that's completely fine yeah it's actually insane to me that this happened so now i won't need as many eyes of ender to find the stronghold because i've already found it so basically all i'm gonna need now is 12 eyes also i'm gonna plant saplings everywhere just so they can eventually grow because this place is gonna run out of wood all right more wood We're getting there. I'm basically going to strip this house out of all its natural resources. Alright. We are so close. Yeah, look at this. This basically became an ocean. In just over five minutes, yeah, this became completely barren. Yeah, this villager does not want to trade with me. Fair enough, seeing as I'm just destroying his house. Like, I wouldn't trade with someone like that either. Also, I'm pretty excited to see what the loot has in the stronghold. I'm guessing it's going to have some ender pearls and some other good stuff. Here we are. I think one more trip back down and we'll be good to go. This villager is just drowning itself after seeing what I'm doing to its house. No, don't do it. Wait, where did it go? Well, you know what? I don't think it's that outrageous that I found this stronghold. Because if you think about it, it's really visible. Like, I bet if strongholds were floating like this in normal worlds, then people would come across them randomly all the time. I don't know. And now that I think of it, especially since they cast shadows on the ground, I don't know if I would have seen it if I wasn't looking up, but its shadow kind of gave it away as well. All right, we made it onto the stronghold. I'm just going to make some slabs so I can get across easier. You know, seeing this floating stronghold right here, it reminds me of another challenge I did called the Stronghold Challenge, if anyone remembers that. Pretty cool how this is like the same situation almost. Actually, no, it's not the same. Because in that challenge, I had to only use a floating stronghold to beat the game. I think this challenge is not as hard 
to start off with because yeah that challenge took a long time and I didn't even beat it. There's the fountain. There's the portal room. I want to see what this chest has. Might have some iron tools. It might have some food. It might have some ender pearls. That's what stronghold chests usually have. Yeah, basically. So I can't touch this fountain. This is also a massive stronghold. Also, I really need to sleep because if a skeleton or something spawns on the stronghold, I am essentially dead. So let's sleep. Hopefully I wake up on the stronghold. Yes, let's go. You know, as I'm doing this, I'm just realizing how good it is that I don't do my challenges in hardcore mode anymore. Because imagine this in hardcore mode. I would never finish it. Okay, there it is. Just a few more blocks. The spawner is gone. So we've got one eye of ender on the portal. That's completely fine. So that means I need 11 more. All right, so how are we going to do this now? I know there's more chests probably down that way and in the library rooms. So I want to get those, but actually nah. First, I'm just going to establish the nether portal. Silverfish gone. Yep, seems safe to me. Okay, here we go. Everything is going according to plan. So the nether portal, I'll probably just set it up here. Yeah, this is a decent spot. Yeah, nothing wrong with this. Two. Actually, something I overlooked. So let me just put this here. Something I overlooked is that I need some water in a bucket. I actually do not know if this kills me. Surely not. Come on. As if water in a bucket can kill me in this data pack. But you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to risk it. Hold on. If it does kill me, I want to have all my stuff in a chest. Oh, all my good stuff at least. Let's get a bucket and see. Surely not. Okay, I can take it in a bucket. That is so perfect. Just need to make sure that it doesn't touch me. The water. Okay. That's fine. Let's get this. Perfect. One more. Let's go. And the portal frame is established perfect and now to light this portal is a different story i'm gonna need to get some wooden planks from the village oh my god what the hell bro what why would you spawn up here why why would you do this well i don't have anything on me right now okay portal is complete i will go and eat and then come back and continue playing all right, let's get back to the village and grab some wood. And then we're off to the nether. So right now, this whole playthrough depends on how good the nether is. If we get a really good nether, then we can get the blaze rods very quickly. So hopefully we spawn near a fortress at least. All right, I'll grab some of my things as well here. Pickaxe, sword, and some food. I mean, that's basically all I need. Oh, actually some gold is good as well. Yeah, f to barter with those piglins yeah that should be good for now still so funny to me that this guy decided to spawn up here i mean it's the only place he could spawn honestly so i guess that makes sense so let's see let's take a lava bucket and put it here should be fine let's hope this works but yeah i still can't also get over the fact that we literally found this stronghold right here the amount of time this saved is insane so while the portal lights i'm just gonna wait what is, was there someone else up here as well? Two wandering traders. Or is that just one with two llamas? Bro, that is so weird. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the portal to light while I look around for some more loot. There actually don't seem to be many chests around here. And from what I remember, chests here in um, library rooms, they're not as good as other chests. So I think all they have is like books. Yeah, see, like most of this stuff is useless. Yeah, that's the problem with the library rooms. Also, I really should go and sleep right now. Or something bad may happen. Let's check what happened with the portal as well. Ooh, nothing. Okay. I probably shouldn't have wasted all those planks. Because now I'm out. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Yeah, I will admit I, f I messed it up. So I'm going to have to go get some more wood. But also now that I'm going to get more wood. It's also a good opportunity for me to bring horse up here as well. Because, yeah, there's no point keeping horse down there because i can have him up here i think he's in this house yeah thanks for taking care of him guys 
Sorry I destroyed your village. Alright, let's make our way up. Just gotta be a bit careful here. Actually, I think like this is much better. Why are there slimes up here? That is like just weird to me. Actually, this it does think it's a super flat world, so it makes sense. Um, if I was to leave horse here, would he be safe? I should have kind of, I should have thought of that actually. Where can I leave horse? Somewhere here. If I push him there, and then I lock it off here, lock this off as well. There's no way he can escape, right? Oh, it's raining. Yeah. I'm just going to assume he can't escape this. Okay. Let's try this again now. It's just a random chance for the portal to light. So we'll have to wait. Alright, actually I'll just make this easier. So, basically, this lava and that lava have both have a chance to ignite the portal. So it should be easier for it to ignite. Okay, it's starting to light. Hopefully it spreads. Yes, spread everywhere. Whoa, what are you doing? Bro, let's see what happens. Okay, that's on fire. Hopefully it spreads to the other side. <gasps> let's go. Yes, we got the portal. I don't know what caused it. I think it was this side. That's really good. Um, yeah. That's fine. <gasps> oh my god. What the hell? Oh my god. Why would I do that? I tried to take out the lava. Ah, uh, I can't go in water. Bro, that was so dumb. I'm gonna have to wait for it to light again. Why is this guy just observing it like he's doing something? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. Now let's block this off because these are gonna burn. It's not perfect, but it will do. Alright, I'll see you later, wandering trader. Who where are we? We are in the nether, obviously. I think we're actually spawned in a pretty weird place. I have to get out of here. Whoa, get away. Oh my god, how did that not break the portal? Bro, the chances of that go away. Come on. No. Stop. Stop. Bro. How is it in the lava? Bro, what is this nether? I need to get out of here. And I thought the nether was going to be safer. Whoa, no, does not seem to be the case. I think I'm in the worst possible biome because I don't have a shovel. But at least I have an iron pickaxe. Also gonna mark down my coordinates for the portal. Do not want to lose that. I also should have made a shield, but like now there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, this is a terrible biome. Yeah, this way is a bad way. I'm in a soul sand valley and basalt deltas. That's terrible. But you know, somehow the lava feels more welcoming than the water. Because at least you have a chance, you know? Okay, so I'm going to head over this way. So let's see what happens. So right now, my goal for the nether is to find one of those blue biomes where I can get some wood and also find endermen. Honestly though, this has to be one of the worst nethers I've ever seen. This location is terrible. Unless there's a nether fortress that appears out of nowhere. Oh, I see some nether wastes there, which are good. Also, something else which is pretty bad is that my pickaxe is running out. It's running out of juice. Also, I'm running out of food, which is pretty bad right now, actually. I'm going to need to do something about all of this. And damn, I am kind of lost. This is su such bad circumstances right now. Um, I don't have golden armor, so he's gonna come at me. Oh, nice. Enchanted boots. Let's see what else we get. All this stuff sucks. Please give me something good or else I'm gonna kill you. I mean, I'm gonna kill you anyway. You 
think you can survive? You literally gave me soul speed boots, bro. There's no way <laughs> you can beat me now. Soul speed three, that is insane. Okay, but finally we've escaped that biome. And now we're into the nether wastes. So yeah, currently two big issues. We've got, we don't have a pickaxe and we're running out of food. But the good news is that both of these can be fixed. Okay, we've got, it's not the blue biome, but it's the red biome. That red forest which is actually really good because i can get wood from there also i'm gonna be collecting some mushrooms from around here just because mushrooms are just really underrated that you can make soup with them which heals so much health they're just really good overall i'm basically just gonna use this biome to basically regroup a little bit and get some pickaxes get some food going and then i'll continue the search for the fortress i wish i could cook my food as well but, well, well, there's nothing we can do. But yeah, we'll get a crafting table going, get some basic things like some pickaxes. Why not? I'll get a couple of shovels as well if I need to dig out soul sand. But yeah, everything else should be fine. Actually, why not? I'll also make an axe just to have that. Oh, one thing I almost forgot to do was make some bowls because I can make some stews. Because yeah, just take a look at how much stew it gives you. It gives you so much hunger back. It's definitely worth it. I also gotta watch out around here because there's these wild pigs. Not these pigs. Like actual pigs. I forgot what they're called. Yeah, these ones are not any big trouble. It's those ones over there that can cause some trouble. But they also give pork chops, which is good. Oh, there's a blue forest. Perfect. There it is. Those wild pigs. They hit very hard, especially if you don't have a shield. Yeah, these guys suck. But yeah, I am just going to hang out around this for a little bit, just because Endermen usually spawn a lot in these types of biomes. But this one is really small anyway. Oh, there's that wild pig. Oh, those guys killed it for me. Nice. Oh god. Whoa, since when did these guys get good? Well, I guess in groups they're strong, but this is why I have mushrooms here. It's just so good. But yeah, I'm going to need to go and collect some red mushrooms. Why are they double teaming on me? Nice. I got some pork. Probably wasn't worth all that damage I took there. Yeah, at this point, I think I need to stop worrying about this stuff and just try and find the fortress. Because regardless of, like, how much food I have, it's not going to do me any good unless I find another fortress. But yeah, I think my biggest mistake was not bringing a furnace. It would have been so simple to get some cobblestone from that village. And now I have to eat uncooked food. Whoa. This is a pretty bad situation. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god. How is this possible? I thought I was dead for sure. Holy crap, that's the closest I've ever come to death in the nether. Now I just gotta heal up. That was ridiculous. Yeah, things are not looking good right now. Oh, well, I think the gas is gone. But still, that was crazy. I don't know if this wood is fireproof, but I just gotta get out of here. Oh, we've got some red mushrooms, thank you. That is so good. All types of mushrooms here. It's like a little safety cave. It's not really a cave, it's more like a cavern. But yeah, that is so good. Okay, I've made enough stew so that I won't run out for a while. But I just gotta dump some useless stuff. So I don't need that, no. Mushrooms I do need. Yeah, this is much better in terms of food now. So food sorted as one of the issues. No, we still have to find a fortress. What is this? Why is this glowing like that? Is that just lava? Yeah, that looks so cool. But I don't really want to go in that biome. 
It's just any biome that's not the nether waste is just so difficult to navigate. It's not worth it. Oh, damn, you've got... You've got golden armor. Why aren't you coming down? Did it drop? No. That would have been so good. Yeah, what were you two doing up there? Pretty suspicious. Alright though, this is actually getting a bit annoying. No fortress to be seen. But maybe here, this seems like a new area. Maybe there's a fortress. The bad thing about the nether is that it's annoying to get down from high places. Oh look, you can speed bridge if you have soul speed and soul soil. That's actually so cool. Well, I'll just use some obsidian. Don't need it anymore. Alright, let's see. Okay, we definitely need more brown mushrooms. So this is very good. What just happened? Bro. What? Oh my god. What is wrong with this? <sighs> if you guys can tell what happened there, my game completely froze. And when it unfroze, I died because of a ghast fireball. So, if you're wondering why that happened, I'm just going to be straight up honest and say I have no idea <laughs> why this has been happening. It's it's really annoying because this happened earlier as well, but when it froze, after a few seconds, it unfroze again. But, like, as you know, if you're in the nether and your game freezes, it's basically a death sentence because anything could happen to you. Like, something could sneak up on you. Oh, that's so annoying. And the game could still freeze again. I think, honestly, everything, that, all the settings that I'm having, like, the settings aren't even really that high. But, I don't know, my graphics card is not the best. So, it could just be a lot of things rendering in, especially with the shaders that I'm playing with. Which is so annoying. But that's okay. I mean, it gives us an opportunity to start again in the nether. Because, remember, I said that I didn't have any furnace or anything like that. So now, at least I can bring that. But yeah, all my armor and weapons are gone. But that's fine. I mean, I wasn't even finding a fortress at that point. Like, I couldn't even find one. But yeah, my computer is not, like, a top of the line. I would say it's pretty decent for a computer. So this stuff, it doesn't always tend to happen. But sometimes when it does, it's really bad when something like this happens. I might just decrease. Oh, the simulation distance is already very low. And the render distance is low as well. But yeah, I can't turn down the render distance any lower because if I do, then I won't even be able to find any fortresses, any nether fortresses. You know what I mean? Because nether fortresses, I have to look into the distance for them. So yeah, it is just really annoying, but it's fine. Yeah, essentially right now, what I want to do is, is get plenty of food for the nether. Cause even though mushroom stews are good, I don't really want to be relying on that. I just want to already have food to go. So I don't spend too much time in the nether trying to gather that stuff. You know what I mean? Oh no, I don't know if you, I don't know if it's visible on the, what happens on the recording when that happens, but I don't know if you saw that, but that was another small freeze. That is essentially what happened in the nether, but on a much bigger scale. I don't know, I think that shouldn't be happening, but at the same time, I can understand it with the shaders that I'm running, because usually I don't have these on when I'm playing normally, or even like long playthroughs of Minecraft, I don't have these on. The only times I have shaders on is when I'm recording certain series. But yeah, now essentially I'm just going to go and get some pigs and whatever other wildlife is here. No, not the pork chop. No. But it is cool that mobs are spawning on the grass here. That means I just have unlimited resources from them. Like right now I can make some leather stuff with this leather. And I can just come over here to get some more food. Alright, six leather. I'll just save up a couple more just to get... Okay, there's another cow. Just to get a chest plate because that's probably the most worthwhile thing to get. Because, you know, leather boots, helmet, even leggings, they're not going to be that good. Uh, I mean, leggings are okay, because I've got enough of that now. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything spawned. I'll just keep it to leggings. I mean, it's fine. It's going to do something. I just don't want to go fully naked in the nether, because that's just a really bad idea. Yeah, I mean, it does something, at least. It's not reliable or anything, but it's some protection. But yeah, I wish I could get a shield. Unfortunately, it's not looking like it's possible now. All right, let's head to sleep. Actually, 
I just realized why my screen may be freezing like this. It's because in the background, I'm also downloading an update for Fortnite because tonight I'm going to be playing that with some of my friends. But I don't know, should that be taking, should that be lagging me out like that? Especially like big freezes like that. I don't know, probably not. I don't know if that is the culprit. You know, since I've been in this village, I completely forgot that villager trade exists. So like, I could probably get some cool stuff if I trade with them. I can't do anything with enchanted books because I don't have a anvil, but I can try and see what other stuff they can give. I mean, most of the villagers now, I think they've gone into the water. So this village is starting to look more dead by the day. Whoa, another freeze. Oh, I didn't even loot this chest. That's interesting. Take these as well. Wait, does this village have any farms whatsoever? There's no farms in this whole village. That's very interesting. Because most of the villages I've come across have got farms. Yeah, that is kind of strange. So anyway, where is my stuff? There we go. Yes, this village is being used for progress. It's being sacrificed in the name of progress for wood. Let's get this cow over here. Okay, at this point, I think it's time to head back. Whoa, what is this? What? What is going on? Everything that you just froze. Bro. There goes the furnace. Um, okay. I think this is a sign for me to stop recording because, I don't know, I don't want to get to the nether and then things like this keep happening. I need to go figure out what is actually going on here because literally everything just froze. That's actually crazy. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back to this recording later on. I'm going to see what's wrong with the game. All right, bye for now.